Whether we like it or not, the price of Bitcoin is directly linked to the Fed. And in many ways, Bitcoin is trading like a tech stock, which means that it's become incredibly sensitive to interest rate and stimulus policies. That's a far cry from the original crypto mission statement as an alternative to the fiat system. But perhaps there's a reason for this misunderstanding. When crypto first launched, one of the first mainstream finance groups to embrace it was the gold community. And with them came strong concepts about the dollar, namely that in fiat format, it's not real money. Gold bugs are known as the original hodlers, perpetually waiting for the dollar collapse when their gold holdings become the real currency. And presumably they become feudal overlord gazillionaires. Does that sound familiar? An alternative take on the topic is that crypto and the dollar have a symbiotic relationship, with the former acting as an amplifier of the former's importance. After all, what's the main base currency used in crypto investing? That's right, dollar stable coins. We think that what's most likely is that crypto will be used to help reinflate a global economy facing long-term stagflation after a decade and a half of stimulus from most central banks. But that's longer term. How about the here and now? Well, we're not sure there's much great news. After all, the Fed hasn't even started tapering yet. Reverse repos, a practice used for overnight borrowing and lending to banks by central banks to paper over cracks, are at all-time highs. And while we think we might see a bit of relief rally in June, we expect to ultimately see a retest of the lows at some point. 